Good afternoon, everybody. Doing a recording on my phone on the land in Denellen. I took a video back in December, I believe it was, showing everybody the progress and the beginning. So I'm starting the video right here. You see my truck is parked here in part of the drive. And I'm going to begin right here. You see this little cluster of trees right here. These will come out. And this will be the future horseshoe drive, driveway coming out this way. And I'll bring you around the other way. So I have a few trees to take out here. And then there will be another driveway going right here. And I'll explain that when we come through. So I'm coming out here. The video might be a little bit long. Hopefully it comes out clear. I'm walking my way through. So this will be eventually, this will be the future extension of the driveway. And I'm going to bring a piece of equipment in to get rid of some of this fill and use it on the land. So I'm out here. I own over to this dead tree right there. So I'll walk here. You can see right here. And I walked this last video. So here's my Here's the wood line, at least when I actually own this, not just myself. Um, and here's our wood line right here. Keeping that buffer and the privacy. And I'll clean it up and eventually I'll put a fence along here. Privacy fence. But I'm gonna keep the natural growth, just clean up what I need to. leave it pretty natural over this side because this is the main one of the main roads here and then here's our road this road right here is fig tree lane and this road right here is dogwood lane so here's the corner i cleaned all this out got no, no trespassing signs Here's the beginning of the driveway that goes all the way around. This will have a gate right here. And then I cleaned out all along here. I know I'm going fast. When I come back through, I'll go slower. So right here, where that pile of brush I'm gonna burn is, that'll be a future motorcycle shed or garage right here and then I'll do a ramp coming right out to the road right here and I prune this tree right here and that one down there right there in the corner the one I cut down low that'll that'll uh, sprout back out and there's a twin right here that'll sprout back out Nicely, and then I left that post of a tree I took down. I'm going to put a uh, solar light in just to dress it up a little bit. Save these baby oaks along here, and there's another post, and that's about the end of my property line here. So, this big blackjack oak will come out, and the one right behind it will come out. These pines are gonna come out and they'll be left up high as solar light post. And I'm gonna run a lot of solar out this way and um, keep down on the electric. One step at a time. So this was raw woods in December. So now we're coming in the driveway this is the woods. I'm going to take all that out. Someone left it there long ago. Taking that out today. 
before I leave. But this is the wood line and the buffer. Come in, driveway, I put in. There's that brush pile that I was gonna burn, and here's the other side. There's another light post, so that gives you an idea what I do with those posts. And those are solar, free lighting, kind of accent for the driveway line. So here's the other view here. So then you come here, this black jack will come out as well. But what I did here is I saved these baby oaks. That pine will come out. Here's one driveway here, and then here's another one bigger so we can I can get a camper or RV in through here. Easy with plenty of room. Here's one another one of those light posts. I've got them on my back property line as well. I'm gonna bring you back here. It's another one. There's one in there, and then my property line runs along here. More light posts. Here's my truck. Okay, so I'm bringing you in. This is, I'm now, I've done all of this by myself with chainsaw, blower, hand tools, and my truck only. No help. And I started this raw woods in December. And I'm under $1,000 invested on what I've done so far, not counting my labor. I don't, you know, that's my labor. So eventually this will be the, the house lot. This is a full acre. Now how these pines will come out eventually and I'll leave them for now. This one I'm taking out and that one I'm taking out and I'm gonna make those light posts and I'm gonna widen this driveway here and I take that light post out and move that and widen this driveway here. Because what I did up here is I did an RV site, living space while development goes on and lives simple. So this is the beginning. This is what's here right now until I can get a, Lisa and I can get an RV or a camper of some sort to back in, pull in right there. So if you notice, there's my truck. This driveway continues on through. And that's why I said I'm gonna take those clust cluster of trees out and do a pull right through. So any RVs, campers or whatever. And that's what that extra driveway straight ahead is gonna be. And I'll explain that. So I use these pines here to do an outdoor kitchen and a bathroom. I'm gonna drop these pines, obviously, wind reasons and structure reasons, and then I'm able to put a band around the top and put a roof on this. You know, it's Florida, so you don't need a lot of heat as long as you have a space with some heat when it does get cooler, and as long as you have some heat where you're sleeping because it's usually only cold down here at night and first thing in the mornings. So here's what you have so far. And I, uh, this is what I haul the mo my bike in. Just put the screen room up today and have another solar light there. I have a little walkway to go around the back and I'll bring you that way. Um, there's a blow up mattress, queen size mattress that goes in here. There's another screen room that's gonna be going up in another area and I'll show you. So I dress this up with some curtains and um, and then did this. I'm gonna step in. So I put some drawers, drawers here. TV goes right down there, DVD player. And then I got a rough piece of wood right here. I made a shelf for storage. But when it's nice and I'm here, staying here, this stuff will go out in the outdoor kitchen. So this has a fireplace and heater, extra heater if needed. So there's the sleeping space. There's the outdoor living room. And there's a privacy enclosure for this as well, if we want to run a propane heater in there. 
it gets chilly at night, but I didn't put that up right now because I want to put it up on rods so we can open it and close it freely and not have a difficult time. So if you notice the deck, these are all pallets. So what I do is I buy pallets and I level them, screw them, fasten them together, and it creates a deck. Way cheaper than going to buy pressure treated and all that. And these are pressure treated. And you know what? If they last a couple of years, it's worth it. Even if they last longer. I had another one that lasted three or four, three years. Um, and it would have lasted longer. Here's another light post. You see the pallets here. So that rug I got at Ollie's on discount. It was a 12 by 18, which was perfect. Because then we'll, I'll just paint what's left. And then here's a step down. I got to get two more pallets to complete this. And then that back drops down. And that can be a little outdoor deck. But you have this if you need it. Okay. And then you step down. And here's the outdoor bathroom and the outdoor kitchen right here. And you see... There's the breakfast bar. See, it's built around these trees. I used nature to build structure. And when these trees are cut down lower and a band goes around that, this is going to be a pretty strong structure. Rooted very strong. So now this rug here was in the old place up in Interlochen. So that's why... I got that rug because it was the same rug. This one's newer. And I had this one. So utilize what you have. See, there's the deck. More pallets. And the wood around the trees is actually fencing. $2 a stick. Okay, and then um, so here's the um, bathroom here. Okay. Toilet will go over here, shower right there, and a sink will go, and a counter will go right here along this wall because out here, and there's the grill, there's the breakfast bar overseeing out here, and that's where that extended driveway is going to go because these trees right here are going to come out, and then that actually goes all the way through as well. So here is going to be a lower counter. Going all the way to, all the way across, coming across here, and then over here will be a counter. And I'm undecided whether I'm going to put the sink here in this little spot, or if I'm going to put it over there so I can just plumb both sinks for for water. These were only temporary because I just needed something temporarily to hold that hold that until I get this counter in. Then I'll do a more finished board here. What I what's needed. Same thing there. It was temporary, and I and there were scraps and had it. So here's the breakfast bar. Now I'm gonna bring you back out here because I'm gonna do some landscape along here, and I'm gonna do a walkway there. And then this drive right here where the RV or camper is going to pull in, back in, we'll have some material put down. Now you come around this way. Now these are the trees I'm going to take out. And that's going to be a, the driveway is going to be able to come over here and have parking for guest space when there is a home here. Eventually there'll be a home. So here's the other side of the breakfast bar looking into the kitchen or outdoor kitchen not complete yet but not bad so like I said I got here in December so here's the outside and here's the overlook breakfast bar there's a dogwood tree right here I saved there's another little ornamental tree so I left the trees right here in an oak here sun shining here's the outside looking in and now here's where the go through driveway is and i'm backing you back out and here's where we started 
the video right here. So there's your tour, your second tour in the Denellen land. One guy, chainsaws, blower, hand tools, rakes, and things. Got some carpentry tools. And little capital. But very comfortable and cozy living space. And the best thing is... Lisa and I own this land. We have no mortgage. We have no rent. I put some literally blood, sweat, and tears into what you see here. But it's all been well worth it. Because I have a bonus section to bring you to. Now... This driveway is continuing through. Eventually, when that extension is done, I'll stop driving through here when we, because eventually the home will be sitting over here in this area somewhere. So here's the bonus area. You see these trees growing across. I'm going to keep those going across. And here is going to be the fire pit area. And the fire pit is going to go right here, right there. That is going to be another platform deck and another screen room. Another light post. And this is going to be a little landscape. I'm going to do some more work right in here because of the palm right there. These black jacks will come out. So there's the bonus fire pit area. And um, and then I'm going to take you in an area that I haven't got into yet. And show you the driveways again. Or extended driveways, which is going to come right through here. It's going to come through here. I'm going to save this beautiful oak, live oak. That way going to go out there. I'll widen this up. Then there'll be another. So there'll be a driveway going through there all the way out to Dogwood. And then we'll do a driveway here going up to the RV space for guest space later on when there's a home here. So here's the area that is now the driveway is going to come through here. So now there's another little bonus spot right here. It's fairly pretty much clear. Just got to clean it up. And that could actually be another fire pit area. Or a pool. But could be another fire pit area for the guest space. And over in the other fire pit area eventually could be a pool. But it's a little shady there. So anyways... To get off here, hopefully this video comes out okay because my phone's been having difficulties. And I hope everybody enjoyed it. And uh, take the message that you don't need a lot to have a lot because this might not be a lot to many, but this is a lot to me because I don't have a monthly payment. That's the best thing about it. I don't have to worry about the first of the month that my mortgage is due or my rent is due and I don't have it because there's no work or there's no money or whatever it might be. Maybe a pandemic or a scamdemic. I don't know. So one last look. And these piles of brush and wood will be burned along the way because that's nice warmth during the evenings when it starts getting cold. God bless everybody. God bless America. And you got to love the Florida life.